Say Please to the Honeybees, story by Susan Ross, art by Megan Stiver. It was Violet's first visit to Pioneer Village. The fluffy white sheep noticed a beehive hanging from a short branch in a tall tree. Honey was trickling down its sides. Hmm, I've heard that honey is delicious, thought Violet. Did Violet politely ask the bees, May I have some honey, please? No, she did not. Instead, that sneaky sheep tiptoed over to the beehive. She swiped her hoof in the honey and tasted it. Mmm, honey is yummy. Violet mumbled while smacking her lips. She began gobbling up the sweet treat. Violet was a very messy eater. She was dribbling honey all over her soft, fluffy, white wool. Queen Beatrice witnessed the robbery and roared, There's a sheep stealing our honey! Get that honey back! The honeybees swarmed out of their hive. They tried to get the honey off Violet, but got stuck in the sticky stuff instead. Six-year-old Molly saw poor Violet and shouted, Help! That poor sheep is covered in bees! Violet's owner, Farmer Shepherd, heard the call for help. He rushed over with a smoker and smoke the bees off Violet. The angry honeybees headed back towards their hive, vowing revenge. Violet's wall was now a dirty, sticky, gooey mess. She needed to be sheared. Farmer Shepherd led Violet over to the village's sheep shearing contest. Violet was so upset by her disgraceful appearance that she didn't move a muscle when Farmer Shepherd cut off all her flawed fleece. He was finished in the blink of an eye and won the $50 prize. Embarrassed by her barrenness, Violet decided to hide in a haystack in the barn, weary from her hair-raising morning. Violet was soon napping, snuggled under the hay. Something tiny tickled Violet's nose. Spiders were sitting on Violet's snout. They had spied the delicious honey that had soaked through Violet's wool. Did the spiders politely ask Violet, May we have some honey, please? No, they did not. The creepy... Crawly creatures took out their tinsy winsy spoons and began stuffing their teeny tiny mouths with the tasty treat. Ah! Screamed Violet. Ah! 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 Screamed the spiders. Violet leaped out from under the haystack, covered in hay. We should have politely asked if we could have some honey, one spider scolded another as they parachuted off Violet. The village's huge horse. Harry was horribly hungry. He discovered Violet in the middle of his corral, sweating at the few remaining spiders. Did Harry politely ask Violet, May I have some hay, please? No, he did not. Harry just trotted over to Violet and began munching on the honey sweetened hay. Stop it! Violet demanded. You were slobbering all over me, you greedy pig! Oink, oink, said Harry the horse and he continued chomping on the hay until it was all gone. Embarrassed by her barrenness, Violet dashed towards the schoolhouse to hide. She tripped over the school bell's rope and somersaulted in the garden. Flowers stuck to her sticky body. Violet looked delightful in daisies. Violet was enjoying the visitor's compliments when she heard a deafening bzzz. She knew it wasn't the sound shears. All the shearing was finished. Uh-oh. A huge swarm of bees was coming straight for Violet and her daisies. Everyone dashed for cover. Everyone except Violet, who was frozen in fear. Did the honeybees politely ask Violet, May we have some daisies, please? No, they definitely did not. Each bee grabbed a daisy. Then they all flew away, snickering. Queen Beatrice bellowed, Next time, leave our honey alone, you shifty sheep! I didn't like those droopy daisies anyway, Violet hollered back, shaking her fist. She wiped a tear from her eye and whispered, yes, I did. Violet was now dirty and sticky and hot. I need a bath, she thought. Violet observed a gaggle of geese swimming in a pond. Did Violet politely ask the geese, may I bathe in your pond, please? No, she did not. She only waded into the water. A goose named Gordon rudely grumbled. No one invited you! Then he yelled, Splash the sheep! And whacked his wings in the water.
before long, all the geese were splashing Violet. Was Violet upset? No, she was not. Violet got a lovely shower. The sun dried Violet in seconds. She was now nice and clean and cool. <laughs> Embarrassed by her bareness, Violet was looking for a place to hide. She slinked past the church, the blacksmith, and the print shop. When she got to the general store, however, Violet came to a sudden stop. There, in the window, was a vivid violet sweater. It was decorated with a picture of a fluffy violet. Did Violet politely ask the shopkeeper, May I have the sweater, please? No, she did not. Violet simply whisked the sweater out of the window and wiggled and wriggled until it covered her perfectly. Take that sweater off, ordered the shocked shopkeeper. Violet merely motioned that the sweater had her picture on it. <laughs> Molly had just bought a peppermint candy stick. She rushed out of the store and found from her shepherd. She told him about the sheep, the sweater, and the salesperson. From her shepherd hurried back to the general store. Violet looked at him with puppy dog eyes. Please, she said. What was from her shepherd to do? He took out his wallet, removed the prize money, and handed it to the shopkeeper. He didn't want Violet to be embarrassed by her barrenness anymore. The sweater now belongs to Violet. She looks vibrant and vivid, Violet, Farmer Shepherd declared. Violet gave Farmer Shepherd a big hug. When Violet returned home, she immediately strutted to the barn to show off her new look to all her furry and feathered friends. The animals fought. Violet looked spectacular in her violet sweater. The sheep, the pigs, the cows, and the chickens all went to Farmer Shepherd's farmhouse. They all politely asked, May we have sweaters too, please? <laughs> that winter, visitors to the Shepherd Farm were surprised to see every single animal wearing its own stylish sweater. <laughs> the end. Make sure to like and subscribe.